Oh, look, Kuwart's left the game. He disconnected. That son of a bitch. See you later. Have a nice day. Does he even fence? No. <laughs> I've only like, ever seen him play he Rio. Do, he does the exact same thing I do. Not fence. I've only ever seen him play Rio and Pure. And He's not that great. Yeah. He's okay. He's better than most of them, but... <clears> I almost <throat> beat him, so... He's not that great. <laughs> and I suck at fencing. No, get the get who arts out of here. We don't need him. He, he ain't nothing. Get him out of here. Oh, oh look, look, he's connecting. First match is going to be who arts against Nero. Who arts is obviously favorite. But who arts though. shouldn't really be playing because he said that he wasn't going to participate. No, and what said, is he doing? He said he would participate. Oh, uh, then he's a fucking liar. He wanted to get the another. All right, calm down. Jeez, Christ. No need, no reason to get emotional on the stream. No need, no have to take you. Emotional, right. like I'm just saying, yeah. like he's a fucking yeah. liar because he told me blah 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 blah. But all right, just continue. Well, shit happens. So who arts just needs to win one more, and he's passing through this stage. I uh, hope who arts doesn't win. I don't know. Like, I, I even. There you go. Dude, there's so many seen... good fencers. Who arts is not gonna win. There's so many good fencers. I even seen Nero doing much work. He got a point. Oh. Uh, oh, and that's oh. it. That's nice it. Who arts wins the first round? That was a nice game. He was a little bit too close in positioning to who arts there, and who arts just got the rebound off the guard. Who arts versus Ice Max? You guys want to introduce these players? Um, who I don't know. I think who arts needs to lose this tournament. <laughs> that's the only thing I want to say. <laughs> who arts is a, a cape collector. Who arts that. is gonna lose? He, there's too many good fencers, and he's not a fencer. He doesn't focus on phalanx. All right, cool. I that, won. Who arts is that's it. My apologies. Who arts is out. Who arts is out. Gee, who arts loses? I think we okay. should bring oh, him dang. as the next. Did he guest. even say like? Did he even say good game, or did he just kind of leave? He just left. Yeah, he was a little disappointed. Yeah. yeah, I could see that disappointed feeling. Yeah. Who arts? I did think you really daily. Who arts table flip. <laughs> You can practice as daily as you want, but if you're just not good at it, uh, I don't think it's going to help much. I believe it's who Arts is going to join us for a guest interview. What's up? Hey, who Arts. Hello, who Arts. Hey there, it's hey. Arts. <laughs> so, getting knocked out in the run of 64, no losers match. No losers bracket. This uh, yeah, that's what uh, happens with... Uh... Very, very short matches. Yeah. Uh, usually with a longer match, you get more time to actually recover and make a comeback. But yeah. With, yeah. Only four hits. I, I didn't... I, mean, I wasn't that confident in this tournament, but I was trying a few things, which failed twice. Um, there's generally two things you can do. Um, either you get close enough to uh, get past the guard with the second hit, or you hit around uh, the block with an air attack or something. I mean, an air uh, cancel. <clears throat> and I kind of hit the air right above his head twice in a row, and then he just punished me. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, that's the thing about fencing. It's a lot... The, the, the window for punishing is very short. Very short window. <laughs> but it's a window you definitely need, otherwise... Uh, you might n y lose the whole match. And <coughs> fencing is nothing like an actual fight. It's just it's completely different, almost. Yeah, the, the key here. Well, I I can't do the theory because this is you know blade symphony fencing. Is uh, to get that first hit in when you're really close to each other, and then you can just hit besides the guard or past the guard with the second hit. Um, <clears throat> that's what you're usually going to see in this uh, in this tournament, I think. This is when you when somebody gets close enough, they always get the second hit in. And that's the theory behind uh, the fencing right now. Well, like, uh, how, how do you think um, you did here compared to like uh, an actual tournament? Uh, it's completely different. Yeah, it went in with a completely different mindset. See, in the actual tournament, I mean, an official tournament where you play all characters, I'm a little bit more into that. <coughs> because of my own um, interest, I suppose. And here I did know I was going to have to deal with more defensive playstyle. Like in the first round, Nero like, totally did not attack me at all. It always like kind of turns me off a little bit. Um, so I came in less confident and less, a little bit less motivated. Um, well, because, also because 
experience was just so much less than uh, in the main game. I mean, you have 500 hours in the main game and maybe like five hours in uh, five hours in fencing at best. It's a major difference. Will we be seeing any highlights by uh, <coughs> on your YouTube channel? Um, if the footage is alright, I can probably put up a highlight or something. Um, so I think Raffle's going to do that. But if you had another chance, what would you do differently to fight? I would aim lower on my air on my air cancels. Oh, really. that fast three cancel you did. Yeah, I would aim over his just, just a little bit lower, and we'll probably yeah. hit him. I keep seeing you were doing that, and then just missing by barely a little bit. Yeah, because if you hit if you hit that perfectly, then it actually goes past the guard. And that's, that's kind of the meta I was going to constantly use in this tournament and the thinking it's going to get banned next tournament, but I just missed by a freaking inch. It looked like you froze on stage a little <coughs> bit once you missed those uh, attacks. You, you looked like you, you just sat there for a second like, oh, I missed. <laughs> I didn't really expect, but the, the thing is that he could punish me right afterwards because I, I was in the range where he could do the, the two-hit uh, thing where the second hit goes past the guard. What do you think about using balanced sides in this tournament? Um, well, it looks like everyone wants to wrap up the, the interview, so I'm going to quickly... Balanced sides, um, you can do it if you're close enough. If you're not close enough, you're not going to have any profit out of it. If you do it close enough, you can hit a, a fast forward afterwards and do a uh, hit. But you have to get close enough, and that's the risk. Yeah, I think that was a little discussion, we were a debate we were having earlier, but... Uh, I think that's the time for the uh, break and <coughs> we're going to get back into the main tournament alright, uh, thanks for having me thanks for having me just drink too much haterade, you feel me? but that nigga got skill, man <laughs>